Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very special one. We're going to talk about the newest sugar drizzle palette that is launching on the New Year's Day. And this is the Raccoon Trashed Palette. And I love this artwork. Look how cute that raccoon is. Like I love, love, love this palette. And the artwork is stunning. It's like an elegant raccoon, isn't it? love it <laughs> and this is the color story of this palette it is an all shimmer palette full of duochromes multi-chromes different different textures of shimmers and this mainly has like taupes and greens and purple in it and it has like a few oranges and pinks thrown in here and there but mainly i would say a neutral like a wearable color story multi-chrome duochrome palette love 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 this theme around it and this palette is going to be retailed at $44. You can use the code Smithy Sony to save like 10% off on the entire order. Actually, anything on their website. But I cannot wait to show you guys the entire palette in action. So if you guys are interested to see the swatches, three eye looks using this palette, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's start off with the swatches. I'm going to do live swatches and I'm going to go row by row so that you can see like in action how this palette looks and then we'll dive into the three eye looks this is the first eye look that i created i went more on the neutral glam side but then we're gonna dive into like colorful eye looks too so let's begin with the swatches the first shade is called trashed and this definitely is like a purple to a green multi-chrome look how smooth that is i also see like in gold like a purple, blue, green shifting shade and such a smooth multi. I love, love Sugar Drizzle's multi-chrome shade. Now this, the second one is called Dumpster Diving and this definitely is more textural. And this is like a purple to a bronze shifting shade. It has a little bit of like gold too. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is definitely more uh, textural. And next one is called Masked Bandit. And this definitely is like a um, sagey green is what I see. I also see like a lime green shifting shift coming through. I hope you can see the shift, but I'll show you like the close up swatches also that I took in the outside lighting too. And this definitely is not like a duochrome by any means, but very, very sparkly shade party all night. It's more like a peach toned, very shimmery shade. So those are the first four shades. So let's swatch it. Super, super smooth. This is definitely more textural, but you can smooth it on the eyes, smooth it out on the eyes. Similarly, this shade too. Oh, this is so, so good. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Those are the first four shades love that and you can see like that shift also coming through and look how stunningly it's watched Oof, love it this palette will launch correctly at like 12 p.m eastern standard time and these like all shimmer palettes from sugar drizzle definitely try to like sell out super quickly so if you are interested definitely do be there on like around 12 o'clock i would say let's talk about the next four shades the next four shades the first shade that we're going to talk about is rascal tail it's definitely more like a silvery taupe shade and this is what i have right now in my inner corners and the inner third of the eye the second shade is junk food junkie which is more of like a pink to a green shifting shade Definitely like um, iridescent multi-chrome, but strongly with like a pink uh, to a green shifting shade. The next one is Raccoon Hugs, which is more like a pink based purple shade. Definitely a deeper, uh, like for smoky eye looks, it'll be really, really good. And the fourth one is Wildlife, which is more of like a true taupey shade, I would say. Definitely on the mid-tone side. This is what I have on the mid of the eyelid like the center of the attention really really love these four so let's let's swatch so smooth and sparkly i love that there are different different textures in this palette i feel like that is what like stands out for sugar drizzle and these are the next four shades look how beautifully it's swatched 
So I definitely feel like it can go more like neutral tones, but it can go colorful too. Really, really, really pretty. Very, very stunning. Okay, now let's move on to the final four shades. Nature Lover is definitely more of like a purple to a blue shifting shade. Scadaddle is more of like, um, I can see a purple, I can see like a, a very, like a pastel green shade. Snack Time is definitely more like pink to an orange shifting shade. And Scavenger Hunting is more like a cool tone pink shade. So those are the next four shades. So let's watch them. Ooh, look at that. That just screams mermaid to me. We definitely have to use that shade. Finally, the pink shimmer shade, which is scavenger hunting. There we go. And those are the last four shades. And this is the entire palette swatched for you guys. Definitely a lot of textures going on. We have like smooth multi-chromes. We have some like shimmery shades. Uh, we have like a regular shimmer, but with like a lot of sparkles too. And a lot of duochromes going in. So that's the whole palette swatched for you guys. Now let me show you in the outside lighting how this palette uh, looks because it has a lot of shimmer and shine and sparkle running throughout it. And then finally, let's move on to the eye looks using this palette. Okay, so the first look that I wanna create is like a super elegant but a glam look is what I am thinking about. So I'm gonna focus on the neutrals today. Um, so let's talk about like wildlife, rascal tail. That's what I'm, I wanna like focus on those like topes. The next looks that we are going to create, it's going to be like colorful looks. So let's begin. I am going to, for the mattes, I'm going to focus on the chocolate martini palette from Glam Light because you know I like that palette. And let's start off with Irish Cream. It's like a pinky neutral shade. It's perfect for a crease shade for me. So I'm going to start off with that, build off in the crease and also in the lower lash line. When I'm filming this today is Christmas and there are people coming to my home so i really want like to focus on one look today and tomorrow i'll do like two more looks so now i'm going to take the shade bittersweet and i'm going to concentrate that on the outer corners and then spreading it across the crease but lower than that irish cream shade this is definitely a little bit more on the cooler tone side so this will give me the depth that i need I'm going to take the same shade on my lower lash line too. Now to deepen up the outer corners, I'm going to take the shade Dark Chocolate, the deepest shade of the palette. I'm going to focus that right there on the edge. I went with like a very, very light hand. And I'll also focus this on my lower lash line, like on the outer edges of the lower lash line. Now onto the trashed palette. Let's take the shade Wildlife. It's a beautiful taupey shade. Can you see that? Beautiful. I'm going to concentrate that. Oh my God, look at that shine. I'm going to concentrate that on the center of my eyelid. Oh, wow. That's a great like a uh, new year's day super glam shade oh my god i love it it can be like an everyday glam too yeah absolutely love that shade and look how smooth and shiny it is i'm gonna go back to that uh deepening brush that we used earlier and just melt that shade into the outer corners with no additional product. I just don't want like a harsh line. That's it. just like that. And now I'm going to take this shade, which is Rascal Tail. Let's see. It picks out really, really nicely on this flat brush. This is from BK Beauty, which is A505. I'm going to concentrate that. Oof. So pretty. 
on the inner corners and then melt it down into the other shade this is definitely more on the silvery taupe side like a cool tone silver but again very very smooth and that's all that i'm going to do for this look because i feel like this is so simple yet so glam and like cool tone leaning i love it i absolutely love it let me finish this eye off with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that is my first eye look i went very simple and yet very glam and i feel like i love the way how this turned out i just used two shade out of that palette and it's just the perfect neutral tones I used Wildlife and Rascal Tail and I love the way how this turned out. I cannot wait to dive into more of this palette and create some colorful looks too. So now, without further ado, let's dive into the second eye look. Okay, for the second look, let's start off with the All Mats palette from Sugar Drizzle. I love the purples and the greens in this palette, so let's do that. I feel like we should start with this shade, which is Grungy Lilac. This would be our deepening shade of the palette. Look how stunningly deep it is. I'm also going to take the same shade on the outer corners of the lower lash line. I'm going to take this shade, we got the beads, and I'm going to just blend the edges. Now I'm going to take this shade, which is sea glass, and put it on my lower lash line just like that now let's move on to the trashed palette okay i'm gonna dip into this shade which is called dumpster diving the purple it's like a purple to a bronze shifting shade so let's put that on our lids it's definitely more on the textural side so i'm gonna concentrate that mainly on the lids look how pretty and stunning it is this all over the eyelid for a smoky eye look would be stunning with like some navy oh my you know i love my purples and this has like can you see that it has like a green shift too wow i totally can see i don't know if you guys can see it or not i'm gonna take the same brush that we use for the deepening shade and just blend it down the edges just so that there's no harsh edges okay now for the inner corners i want to dip into this shade which is cat Adel. i feel like this is going to be really really pretty with this purple so let's do that I'm gonna pick this up on a flat brush just because it's definitely more on the textural side but it picks up really really nicely so let's start applying that oh my oh wow look how sparkly that is i am not getting much of fallout but i would definitely i'm very very careful i would recommend you to do your eyes first this is stunning i'm just melting both those shades together stunning it is stunning absolutely stunning i'm gonna melt the edges like the edge of this green and the purple with um, let's do this snack time this has like a pink purple orangey shift to it i'm gonna put that right in the center just to melt both those shades together yeah that was that was just a perfect match yep yep love it for the inner corners i'm gonna dip into this shade which is junk food junkie the names are stunning and i'm gonna put that right in the inner corners Oh, this all over the lid would be also stunning. It has like a purple to a green shift. I don't know if you can see it or not. I, I definitely see like a pink in the screen. When I look straight ahead, I'll see that. But it has a strong green shift to it. Anyways, I see a lot of green on my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna uh, finish this eye off with some liner and mascara. I'm just gonna deepen out my lower lash line with the same purple shade. And I'll get right back. And that's my second eye look. 
really 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 love this eye look i love the mermaid vibes that is like happening here i love the sparkliness and the shine that this uh, eye look is giving i definitely tested uh, like these shades yesterday too and it just wore the entire day i took off my eyes like around 11 30 at night and it wore for like straight like nine ten hours without creasing so i definitely wanted to mention that too okay now let's move on to the next eye look for the mattes, let's dive into the Hypernova palette from Sugar Drizzle because, again, another stunning palette which we need to use, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take this shade, which is Space Explosion, and I'm going to take that mainly everywhere in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to dip into this shade, which is Light Ear which is more of like a gray blue shade really really pretty shade i'm gonna start with the outer corners and then just melt it into that pink shade that we put all over the crease just like that i'm gonna take the same shade this shade on my lower lash line i'm just gonna take my nyx glitter glue just to apply it on my lid a very tiny little bit would go like to places so i'm just gonna take that everywhere on the lid just to get a tacky base okay i'm gonna first start off with this shade trashed just because i want you to see in action i'm very well aware of like how these smooth multi-chromes from sugar drizzle work but i want you to see too look how smooth that is Like, I love, love this shade. I'm mainly going to focus this on the outer corners to about like the center of my eyelid. But again, you can wear this completely and you can see that purple shift coming, right? Really, really pretty it is. I definitely want a little more depth in the outer corners which we will achieve after we finish off with the eyelid just like that okay i'm gonna take this shade which is party all night it's such a pretty sparkly shade i'm gonna start that on the inner corner look <laughs> look how stunning and sparkly it is okay i'm gonna take that mainly across the inner third of the eyelid oh my god <clears throat> i have no words <laughs> i'm definitely gonna dip into this shade for uh, it's called masked bandit i just want like definitely to balance out the shimmer going on but you saw that smooth shim smooth multi-chrome right i mean yeah i definitely wanted to show you that too i'm gonna start that melting it with that sparkly shade I cannot get over that sparkly in a third shade. It's so pretty, so pretty. I'm just going to take the same sparkly shade on my inner corner too. And a little bit on the below inner duct of the eye. Like that. Because it's super, super sparkly. I mean, you definitely don't need much. Because a little goes a very, very long way. So pretty. Okay. I think... Okay, let's use one more shade. Mm, how about we used raccoon hugs on our lower lash line it's like a pink to a purple shifting shade really really pretty now just to deepen out the outer corners i'm gonna dip back into this palette and i'm gonna take this shade which is universe i feel like it definitely needs a little more depth i'm gonna take that right there and then just melt the multi-chrome and the lid shades, everything. It's so stunning. I'm also going to take the same shade on the outer corners. Now I'm just going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. And this is my third eye look. I love this eye look, especially that inner corner shade, the sparkly shade. I feel like that alone 
is just so vibrant it's so beautiful when you're applying it and that all over the eyelid would just give such a glam eye look i am in absolute love love with this eyeshadow palette you can just go so many ways with this palette and especially if you are like a green and a purple eye lover I feel like you're absolutely gonna love, love, love this palette. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed all the three looks that I created for you guys. Do let me know in the comment section below, out of the three looks, which one was your favorite? Are you team one, two, or three? Are you excited for this palette? Are you gonna pick it up? And do not forget to use my code Smithy Sony if you wanna save some dollars. But that's all for today, guys. If you did like it, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, sometimes four, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.